Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make uh, these concentric rings on Blender, these concentric circles using geometry nodes. So let's uh, start, uh, let's just make a new a new scene, a new world and let's, let's, delete, the, let's delete the cube and add a, a circle. So now we're going to go uh, to geometry nodes and then go new, this is where we're going to add all of these nodes that we need. So we're gonna add a geomet an instance on points, plug it here and also a mesh line. And this is gonna allow us to have that array that we need to duplicate all those circles. So we connect this mesh to the points and the instance to the geometry and we start seeing some results right here. So but we need to put all the circles uh, on this kind of uh, direction like on this kind of axis not on the set uh, so also I'm just gonna show you <coughs> what I'm doing uh, start this is just for me don't worry Let's go back to geometry so we have this um, all these circles so now we're just going to add uh, put them on the right axis. So we're gonna modify also. We're gonna just put this something here also. We're gonna add a corp circle and we're gonna put it here. And this, we're gonna connect the resolution here and the radius here. This is just to modify these values of the circle on the, on the right side. So after doing this, we're gonna add something on the scale which is a math node and an index node. I'm going to connect the index to the value and the math node to the scale and it's going to show, show us this and if we, well, if, we, if you want to have all of these circles on the, on the, on the same axis it's just on the x and y axis let's just change the offset right here to zero and they're all going to be there. So okay this should be in 0 0.5 and we'll come up to the next the next modes. We're gonna add a store name attribute. Put it here. And then we're going to add uh, a random value. A random value is gonna go right here below the store name attribute. And we're gonna do this. Connect the random value to the value and change point to instance. And just put a name to this attribute I'm gonna put RDN, RDN, RDN. Okay, and this is gonna be basically our way of adding different colors to each of the rings. Uh, but this is gonna be done later on the materials. And now we're gonna add um, a make, no, a realize instances, which is gonna apply the same effect to all of these rings, except but it will have this attribute that gives it a random value on the color this is like the special attribute and then we are going to add more nodes here we're going to add a corp to mesh and put it on the center right here right there it's going to plug automatically and then we're going to add a group input put it here and then we're going to add a quadratic quadrilateral so what we are doing is just giving a uh, like depth not depth but like uh, thickness to this to this line so we have you can see the colors uh, so the group input is gonna be right there and we're gonna connect first the quadrilateral to the to the profile corp so it's starting to have the effect that we want but but we also need to do a connection here on this group input so it shows all the, the rings correctly connect the width to the radius and the height to the to this empty socket right there is not actually there you just have to connect it to an empty socket and then we are just going to uh, add more just two more nodes a set material and also add a set shade a smooth and deactivate this uh, check bar check box here and now we're gonna start we're gonna go and add our material but don't forget 
save your scene to whatever you want to name it so you have this configuration this setup now we're gonna go to shading and on shading we're gonna add a new material we're gonna go to shading and we're gonna add two things we're gonna add a uh, attribute and then we're going to add color ramp color ramp goes like this and the attribute goes like this and we have to put the name that we type on the geometry nodes which I, I type on this attribute rdn so I'm going to type it right there rdn and also we have to go to geometry nodes and specify what material we're using in this case I'm just using like um, let me just name the material quickly so this material I'm just gonna name it uh, rings ring 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 colors and I'm just gonna go to geometry nodes and put that material I just named and you have all that all those colors right there and also the, uh, I forgot to tell you you have to connect uh, this mesh line the count which is gonna be how many all the, the rings that you want to have just connect it right here on the on an empty socket on the group input and then uh, I'm going to show you how to do the colors basically you have this color ramp and you can add as many colors as you want I'm just going to go maybe with a with a blue blue like blue a little darker and then maybe a little more clear yeah I don't think that's a good idea <laughs> So yeah, something like that. You can add all the colors you want. And yeah, to 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 modify this or to change this, this kind of shape, we're just gonna. You can see that the resolution is, is not very good, so we're just gonna increase the value right here, and it's gonna make it more smooth. I think 100 is okay. And radius gonna change the size. The height is gonna change the 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 depth of these rings, and the count is gonna change the, the amount of rings that you have. And one last trick I wanna show you is how to make Saturn. Uh, so you know this this planet has this kind of uh, strange uh, rings around it. So I'm just gonna add maybe the colors of those rings. I think it's like orange with white. <coughs> so I'm just gonna just make orange colors, and um, yeah, and you are, I'm just gonna go to oh, also one more thing. Um, if you wanna change this, like the random values of this uh, shading of this texture, where you just go to geometry nodes, and on the seat you can change it right there, or you can just plug it in here, and then change the seat to, to whatever you want um, and to make Saturn you just have to to change this value right here the add the node mode the node mat node and you can just expand the rings and add a circle in the middle like a sphere make it bigger and change it more and you have your your little planet right there Saturn. So thanks for seeing. I hope this video was uh, helpful for you and see you in the next one.